hello guys and welcome back to my channel I should post this video last week on Thursday but unfortunately I have a problem by gathering all these coins and today I would like to show you how you can give a new life and a new purpose to this old try that it couldn't be used anymore before by transforming it in this First thing you may have to do is to seal the edges very well using an acrylic glue or either a hot glue gun on the back side. If it's necessary, make this operation twice because we're gonna pour resin on top of the coins and the resin can flow under and it will not gonna be very well after that to clean it or not will be will not gonna be very easy after the um, resin is curing to clean it off uh, of the dry. After the acrylic glue was dry, then you can start playing with the coins. And this operation it will take you a little bit of time. Then after a while everything starts to look exactly like this. For this project I use polyesteric resin and uh, normally I should use uh, epoxy resin which is more crystal clear. The reason why I use this polyester resin is because I don't want to spend too much money. This is much cheaper, it's almost seven times much cheaper than uh, normally uh, epoxy resin. But this is special made for this kind of application. But let's say because the coins have the yellow gold and also the copper let's say red color it's combining very well with this color of the resin and the resin has been more transparent but because it's a polyesteric you have to add a pre-accelerator which is cobalt in my case and also a hardener which is peroxide 
and um, this will change a little bit the color will, will make it much yellow even if it's more transparent in the at the beginning so this is the result of epoxy resin okay and this is the result of this resin so as i said cost wise made me to use this resin also because i have it in my stock um, there are also benefits and negatives in between of these two resin and um, the polyester resin will emanate styrene so it will smell a, li a little bit much longer also it might be possible to protect to, to be pos uh, to be necessary to protect the surface of uh, of uh, the resin at the end after the curing so you should apply a clear lake or something because uh, it might be sticky it depends by the concentration of the peroxide and concentration of the cobalt you use it uh, but here you have a, a plus b component and you have also the right concentration and at the end it will be much harder so you don't need to to protect it with a clear lake overall for my application this is fit very well this resin is fit very well and uh, it's much 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 cheaper than than this one so it's yeah, it makes no sense for me to use uh, this kind of uh, of resin. But I highly recommend you if you have some extra money. It's much easier and the the end aspect will be much nicer.
this is it guys thank you for watching if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave a message in the comment section below thank you